hi everyone so welcome to today's tutorial which is uh we're going to be solving question three which is just sketching the graphs of uh, exponential functions yeah so sketching the graphs of exponential functions so according to our question there you can see that uh, yes according to our question there you can see that We've been given f of x being equal to 3x which is there so when you are sketching such functions the most important thing that you need to utilize is the table of values so we can say let's uh have our x this side and then you have f of x this side so let's try to put zero there or maybe we put negative one when we put negative one there we're going to get uh, 1 over 3 as our answer because we're going to have uh, 3 raised to power oh sorry we're going to have 3 raised to power negative 1 which is just 1 over 3 let's try to put 0 there when you put 0 there 3 raised to power 0 is just 1 put 1 there 3 raised to power 1 is just 3 put 2 there uh when you put 2 3 raised to power 2 is just going to give you 9 so when you have such uh when you have such an expression you are going to have this this is going to be a sketch okay so we have uh I will say negative 1 there, comma, 1 over 3, I will put my 1 over 3 there, which is just this point. Then we have 0, comma, 1, if this is 1, we have 0, comma, 1, we have that point. Then we have um, 1, comma, 3, 1, comma, 3 is just that point then we have 2 comma 9 so I'll just approximate it to be there say my 9 is somewhere there so you can see how the the graph is coming out so this is how the graph will come out so this x uh, axis is there is is it's asymptote so it doesn't have to meet it okay so let's quickly move on to the next question which is this one the next question is saying f of x is equal to half raised to power x so how do you graph that i mean how do you sketch such a graph you do the same you draw the table of values you have x there then you have uh, y or f of x still the same you can either put y or f of x then try to put one where there is i mean we try we start first with negative numbers we start with negative two when we put negative two there on x we're going to have uh four as our answer it's going to be four put negative 1 there you're going to have 2 when you put 0 you're going to have 1 when you put 1 you're going to have half when you put 2 you're going to have 1 over 4 so if we are to sketch this uh, curve it's going to be like this we have negative 1 negative 2 we have 1 we have Two, negative two, negative one, have one, we have two. So we plot these points. Have negative two comma four. I'll put my four somewhere there. We have negative one comma two. I'll put my two somewhere there. Have one. I mean zero, comma one. I'll put my one somewhere there. This is 2, 
then that is four. Put my one somewhere there. And then we have one comma half. One comma half, I'll put it there. Then we have two comma quarter, so I'll put it there. So if, if I'm to sketch this curve, it's going to come out like that. Yeah. So don't mind my sketching. Let me just do this for it to look at least a little bit nice. Okay. So this is how the curve is going to come out. Okay. Let's quickly move on to the next question. The next question you can also utilize the table of values there. You have x then you have f of x okay you have x and then you have f of x and then apart from that uh, we can start uh, taking numbers let's try to get if x is negative 1 then we have 1 over 4 as our answer we have x as 0 then we have half our answer try to put 0 there 0 minus 1 to be negative 1 so if we have x as 1 we're going to have uh, 1 there if we have x as 2 we're going to have 2 yes so we sketch we're sketching this one here so we have negative one uh comma quarter so i'll put it there then i have zero comma uh half i'll put it there okay zero comma half and then we have one comma one so if this is now one so i have one comma one to be somewhere there I have two comma two somewhere there so our curve will eventually come out like that just as simple as this these graphs are very simple you don't have to be stressing when uh, drawing them okay let's quickly move on to the next question so the next question is this one we have so this one can also be written as 1 over 2 the power absolute value of x because of, because we are trying to get rid of this negative so we draw the table of values okay, we draw the table of values So the table of values, yeah, we draw the table of values. So we have x, then we have f of x this side. So when we put, uh, maybe, let's try to put negative 1, I mean negative 2 there. We're going to have 1 over 4 as our answer because the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. 2 to the power 2 still give us 2. I mean 2 to the power 2 will give us 4 let's put negative 1 there we're going to have 1 over 2 we put 0 there when we put 0 we're going to have uh, 1 let's put 1 there we're going to have 1 over 2 let's put 2 there we're going to have 1 over 4 as our answer so when it comes to sketching we're going to have something like this okay so this will now come out as so we stay negative 2 negative 2 comma 1 over 4 so I'll approximate it to be there then we have so I'll write it there 
we have negative 1 comma 1 over 2 1 over 2 is somewhere there then we have 0 comma 1 which is somewhere there then 1 comma 1 over 2 1 comma 1 over 2 again there then 2 comma 1 over 4 somewhere there so the graph will come out as that so that is going to be the graph okay so these graphs are very simple let's uh, quickly move on to the next question so for this one you also you can draw it there are several ways in which you can draw this graph yes there are several ways in which you can draw this graph so okay there are several ways in which you can draw this graph so this graph if you want you can just say you can change this to uh, exponential form you are going to have okay let me just say y while this f of x i put y then i'm going to have one plus the lean of negative x so to change this i'll first take this one to the other side of the equal sign I'm going to have something like this then lean negative x and then from there to change this i know to say this is going to be raised to power e so e to the power uh negative x oh sorry e to the power y minus one because the base of a lean function is e and then this is equal to negative x so meaning our value of x is just going to be equal to e raised to power y minus 1. So from there you can uh, you can do as this you can try to sketch you can draw first the tables of values there and then you try to do your sketching. You, you write your table of values and then you, you do your sketching so okay so in this case now our f of x there is in, in the place of y so w this f of x is just the same as y yeah so let's try to be putting y there and getting x so when you put our y as 1, we're going to have our x to be equal to 1 as well. When we put um, our y as um, maybe, what other number can we use there as 2, our x is just going to give us e. So this e is a number. Actually, it's going to be negative this side. So this one will also be negative so it will also be negative so if we were to sketch that just using those two points we know to say the the what's this the we know to say the the, the vertical asymptote uh for this r curve is just x minus one you equate it to zero meaning it's going to be one so let's try to sketch this curve now so x is negative 1 comma 1 so I have negative 1 comma 1 so somewhere there then we have negative e comma 2 So somewhere there. So as a result, our 
graph is going to come out like that. So this is how simple these things are. Let's quickly move on to the next question. So the next question, the second last question, they say f of x is equal to negative log x. So what you need to understand on such equations is that the vertical asymptote that you are going to have is x is equal to zero for all log functions you equate uh, whatever that you have here there to zero so the vertical asymptote we have vertical asymptote is just x is equal to zero after finding the vertical asymptote you look at this part there if it's if you have this part negative you can just consider this part as your y and then you consider that part as your x so if you have a negative if you have a negative y and positive x it means that your graph i mean your curve is going to come out as so negative y and positive x negative y and positive x is going to be like that because the y the y part is negative meaning it will be going to the negatives and then to also be going to the uh, positive x-axis so what happens if you have maybe a log of negative x so already this is our answer we have found this is the answer for this question now let me just give you some other examples if you have log to the power negative x so you you can see that this side uh, it's positive so we have a positive y and the negative x so positive y and the negative x meaning it to come out like that and then what happens if you have um, a negative negative uh, y and negative x your your curve is going to be like that negative to be going to the negative y and negative x and then what happens if you have uh, negative x and i mean what else is remaining there's negative negative positive negative negative positive so this one that we sketched here was uh, log was negative and then positive there yes i think it's done like this but there's there's one which goes like that which is a positive y and then negative i mean positive or oh, wow. it's a log uh, x just log x so this one is going to go like that because we have positive x and positive y so this is how these logarithms are sketched so let's quickly move on to the next question so we have 2 plus 3 to the power x so you also use the same table of values so that you don't get lost uh, this is f of x So you put on your uh, at x there. Let's try to put zero. When you put zero there, you are going to have a three as your answer. When you put one, you are going to have five. When you put uh, two there, you are going to have eleven, because it's going to be three to the power two nine plus two eleven. So let's quickly sketch. Let's quickly do the sketching. Okay, so you have one comma five, which is that point, then you have two comma eleven. So two comma eleven to be somewhere there. So your curve is just going to come out like that. So this is how it's going to be. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Let's uh, meet in the next question, which is question 4.